Hey, it's Mouse with Sprouting Consciousness, and this week we're going to talk about budget shopping. That's right, you guys, we're on a budget this week. And not only are we on a budget, we're on a budget with A Better Life by Brad. That's me, guys, and I'll be giving you three tips that we're all going to follow this week so we can save some money at the grocery store every week, hopefully for the rest of our lives. Number one tip is we all want to buy organic, but it's expensive. It's really expensive, so we focus on the dirty dozen. Those are the foods that will be the most bang for our buck because those are the foods most affected by the pesticides. If we can save money on those items, we don't have to go organic for everything. Another thing we can do is buy in bulk. If you always use the same peanut butter, rice, beans, anything like that, might as well buy in bulk and save some money there. And last but not least is you got to take advantage of the grocery store's local deals that week. Is there a sale on strawberries, watermelon, a buy one get one free, whatever deals they have, take advantage of it because that $10, $15, $20 adds up. Another tip from us is to buy store brands. Store brands are generally less costly than other brands. Identify what you typically spend the most money on. See if you can replace it with a less costly option. For example, swapping out strawberries for bananas or bottled water for filtered water can save one lots of money over time. Save money by buying healthy whole foods instead of the more costly prepared processed foods that can be loaded with salt, sugar, and other ingredients that you probably don't want. Meal prepping with whole foods can save one time during the week. Have the convenience of meals that are grab and go, are much healthier and less costly than the processed prepared foods. A different store may carry one or more of your regular grocery items at a remarkably low price. If that's the case, you may want to wait to swing by the other store for those items and stock up on those while you're there. Limes at my local stores are generally about over 50 cents. So whenever I'm near a Trader Joe's or a Fresco, I stop in and I stock up because I can get limes there for about 25 cents each. Or less. I just love limes. I think they're great for everything. Look into buying typically filling inexpensive items such as beans, legumes, rice grains, or potatoes. Preparing meals with these items can come out to pennies. Add in some green or frozen veggies and one has dozens of potential combinations to prepare healthy and expensive balanced meals. If you're on a weekly budget, try going to the grocery store no more than once a week to avoid spending unnecessarily. I know that works for some people. You can plan your meals based on ingredients that you already have at home instead of deciding on what you want and then needing to go get all the ingredients for it. That can come out quite costly for the week. Make sure that everything or nearly everything is consumed before returning to the grocery store. And those are our tips for shopping on a budget. I hope that you found them helpful. So now, on to the challenge. Our goal is 30% savings this week. Hopefully we can do it, but we will see. Yo guys, so this week's challenge was to try and save 30% off of what we normally spend at the grocery store. Now every week I typically spend around $100, $105 at the grocery store, and this week I spent $71. Now it's for a couple reasons. Number one, I bought store brand of the items I could. I bought as big of quantity as I could knowing that I'll use it all. And then I also bought a couple different items that I wouldn't normally buy, but they were on sale or they were just a lot cheaper than the items I normally buy. So a couple things first. These are the store brand items I got. This is an almond milk from Publix and it was two for four dollars. These are usually about three or three fifty each in the other brands. I also bought organic spinach, and this is part of the dirty dozen. Spinach is one of those items that you want to buy organic because there's extra pestic uh, pesticide and uh, on the pr on the product, and it gets absorbed in very easily, and it's just something you don't want to have in your body. Strawberries are another one. So strawberries right here. These are organic strawberries, and this was three dollars and fifty five cents for one bag. The downfall is that there's only two cups in here and I eat almost two cups of strawberries per day. So when you do the math, that's about $100 per month on strawberries. So after looking at one bag, I decided I'm going to start buying bananas. And these bananas all 
five of them were a dollar sixty nine or two dollars something like that a huge difference in cost and going forward I'm going to buy less organic strawberries and buy more organic bananas or even normal bananas because they're not a dirty dozen item the cost difference is just out of this world I also got a couple deals I'll show you buy one get one free on this coffee so this is Zavalia or Javalia coffee Buy one, get one free. It's about $8.50 each, so I can save there. And then on my tea. So this is Lipton Sleepy Time, what's it? Bedtime Bliss. And this is a detox tea. These were about $3.50 or so each, and it's buy one, get one free. So I took advantage of that. And then lastly, instead of buying Quaker Oats, Quaker Oats, I got the Publix Old Fashioned Oats, and this was about $1.50 cheaper. And of course, this is the bigger carton. This will last me two weeks instead of one week. I'm perfectly fine with that. And that is what I did though. I bought the store brands of what I could. I cut out my most expensive item per month, which are strawberries. Organic strawberries were 100 bucks a month. That's just stupid expensive. So now I'm gonna start eating bananas. I bought in bulk. I saved on the deals where I could. And that's why my bill is 71 bucks instead of 100. Hope this helps and see you next time. All right, so two weeks ago, I went to my local store, do my regular shopping, and now, now this week, and what I'm doing is I'm going to BJ's with my mom, and I'm gonna buy the same groceries just to see what kind of deals they offer and see if I do meet the challenge of saving 30% on my budget. Okay, so I had to step back from grocery shopping with my mom. The challenge for this week was to save 30% on your grocery bill. Um, but compared to last week, I only saved 11%, so unfortunately I didn't meet the challenge. I mean, there were some good deals, like for example, um, one of the items listed in the Dirty Dozen is spinach, and so I try to get those super greens uh, packages organic and so at my regular store for a five ounce uh, package it cost me about well it's $4.49 and then for the 16 ounce that I bought today it's $3.69 so it is there's some things that were cheaper for example uh, one block of tofu was $2.99 in my regular store that I usually go to but then when I went to be just my mom today I got two blocks of tofu for $3.79. So hummus was something else that I saved on. I The first time I went shopping, so two weeks ago when I went shopping, I bought hummus and one of the tubs was 10 ounces and that was $3.99. So today the tub that I found that I bought, so the tub that I bought was 30 ounces and it was $4.99. So for another dollar, I got 20 more ounces. So things like that. Um, but I didn't really see much of a difference all oh, 11 and every week is different so for example when i buy the dry goods those last me for a while so i bought lentils again i bought chickpeas i bought um what was it lentils chickpeas uh and black beans i still have some beans left over from the last time i went grocery shopping so the beans are pretty good they last i'd say about each packet which is about 16 to 12 to 16 ounces, depending on where you get them. It lasts about a week. So for example, each big bag of either chickpeas or lentils had six smaller bags of 12 ounces, right? So each bag is about, lasts about a week. So that was, uh, let me see, so six of each, so that was 18, so this will last about 18 weeks, maybe not 18 weeks, maybe 16 weeks, so that's about four months, and the only reason I say 16 weeks is because I use lentils for sprouting, not just for lentil soup. So, so strawberries is something that comes out on the Dirty Dozen list, and the only place I find them organic, at least by my house, uh, it's my local store, I find them there, but places by my house, like Aldi's, or, or I actually went to Aldi and I also went to BJ's, um, I can't find them organic. I don't know why, like I have better luck finding veggies organic than I do fruit, or at least the fruit that I eat. Um, so I have no idea why, so I tried, you know, now I have so much food, so it'll probably be three weeks between now and the next time I go grocery shopping. 
I only really saved 11% and basically it was the prices were the same but I think I was getting more for my for the price I was paying so yeah so that was my experience with uh, the vegan budget challenge unfortunately I didn't meet it but I did save 11% on my grocery bill so I'm kind of happy so, hey guys bye. it's mouse here and we're about to record the video for our budget challenge of the week so we're supposed to shop 30% less than what we normally do. I do normally shop on a budget anyway, only because it's easy, I'm always on the go to. So my diet and my shopping is a little well, way different than most people. I usually need things that are fast. I don't really cook right now, so I need things to be fast, healthy, and just something, something that's gonna last too. And also a lot of drinks so we're gonna shop on not only on a budget but we're gonna be on a healthy budget so let's see what we need um, let's do our basics so I'll see you guys soon in our local grocery store probably gonna go to Publix or something unless you guys want to go to Trader Joe's hmm I'll surprise you when I get there bye Hey guys, so I'm here and I'm about to go shopping. I usually do make a list, but I didn't want to make a list right now. I usually do about two protein shakes a day. Cover me for at least two meals. And I drink it with almond milk. So, we're gonna get almond milk. Change it up. I can eat a solid meal a day at least. Um, but we need things like fiber so that we can get full. So, let's switch it up in a minute, okay? See you guys. So as you guys can see, right now I'm at Fresco, I have a lot of sales all the time. So we're going to check it out really quick. I think the first thing I want to get is drinks. I like to see what they have as far as vegetable juice. Let's check out that one. So it's really hard to buy in bulk when you're trying to eat healthy because everything has to be fresh. Um, but if you do, gallons of juice would be good. I'm not exactly a health expert, but I do like healthy eating. So um, I think I'm gonna go with the carrot juice right here. So that is. $6.29 and if I were to up for one of these I'm gonna be paying $2.99 which I usually do buy them individually because I like them fresh but I drink them pretty frequently so we can also do greens but I'm gonna do carrots so let's go with carrots so $6.90 or $6.29 you guys Alright, so that I'm going to be drinking also alone or with my shakes. Okay, for the next thing I want to buy is for my snacks. And I found, a, I love trail mixes, especially for my oatmeal. I'm staying away from too much sugar only because I, I eat too much sugar, so I'm cutting down. This is an omega-3 mix. I'm going to be adding this to my oatmeal. Usually these cost a lot of money anyway, but I found a really good deal for $5. This will typically last me about a week or more, depending on how much oatmeal or how much I want to snack on this. So I can either snack on it, or I can put it in my oatmeal so that it's not so plain. So I do plan on eating more oatmeal so that I can have more fiber. Next to it, I also found some brown flax seeds. 
it's a lot. Um, and it's only three dollars. And I don't know if you guys heard of Winn Dixie, which is now Fresco. So they have this too on special. I like this one, the Omega Mix or the Diet Delight Mix. Hmm. This one's a dollar more, but it has a lot more of what I like. This is technically the healthier option, but since we're on a budget, we're going to go out with the Omega Mix. I and mean, you guys can see all the other goodies around it. Eating healthy takes a lot of discipline, which I'm not exactly perfect at, but I am disciplining myself enough to at least surround myself around things that are healthy for me and that are vegan. So here's our second option. Now that we have our snacks, now we're going to get something to drink. I always like to get it at first because I like to get it out of the way. Um, a lot of water and some almond milk. So we're going to go look for some water and almond milk. Okay, so now we are in the milk section. Obviously, we're not going to get milk. I get almond milk because that's what I drink. I usually get the ones you don't have to put in the refrigerator, but silk almond. This one has only 30 calories. It has the least amount of calories in everything that pretty much will reduce any, any weight gain. So I'm going to get that. There's, this one's actually on special. It's usually $3.39. It's not on special, so $2.98. And then I can also go with the option of like almost three liters. So it's one liter more than the carton up here. I'm going to go with this one, though, only because I like to drink it fresh. It usually lasts me about a week, so I like to get one every week. It's about the same price at the end of the day. Um, I think you'll probably pay a little bit more if I get the extra liter. So we're gonna go with the Silk Almond for two ninety eight. Hey guys, so I found the peanut butter and jelly section. After taking a look at a couple specials, I actually found the most efficient deal here for anyone on a budget. You would usually think that these jars would be more cost effective but what I actually found was that this deal right here is actually more cost effective. It's just one of those regular jars, the 15 ounce jars, but this one's actually buy one get one free. So for two, which is equal, if each jar is 15 ounces, then two jars would equal 30 ounces. So I would get 30 ounces of peanut butter, which is a natural, still healthy. They're all basically the same amount of fat and calories and so on and so forth. So I would get 30 ounces for 3.19 here if I buy one get one free, versus this deal, which that's 20 ounces for 5.29. And I'm not even going to get into all these other deals here because not every peanut butter is created equal. I typically like to go for almond butter, but that, I guess that can last me a while. For $6.99, you can get almond butter. So we're just going to go with this deal. Okay, for the next thing on our list is jelly. This one I'm not going to be too flexible with because of the sugar. Everything has about 10 grams of sugar or more. Um, but I do want to point out a really good special for those who don't really care right now. It's still vegan, it's strawberry is my favorite, along with grape. Um, that's actually a really huge jar. It's about 32 ounces for $3.29 or $3.49, one of those. Which is a really good deal if you're on a budget, but I'm actually going to go with the sugar-free option, which is not on special at all. Which is these options, which has zero, zero 
And I'm going to go with orange marmalade. So this is only about 12 ounces, but I don't really eat that much jelly anyway. So this will last me about two weeks or more, depending on how much peanut butter and jelly I want. So that's what we're going to get. Hey guys, Mouse here again. So I think this is going to pretty much conclude our vegan on a budget for essentials. Um, I do have protein powder at home, which is by Vegan Smart, which is one of my favorites, which one day I'll probably show you guys a video on that, if you guys want it. So we got two waters, which are both $2.49, and that's 24 bottles in each case. And then we have our almond milk, which is $2.98. And then we have our natural skippy, which I don't remember how much it costs, but it's buy one, get one free. It's like $3.99. So that should cover us for a couple weeks. And some sugar-free jelly, which was its regular price, which is about $3.99 as well. And then we have our bread, which is on special. Buy one, get one free. And then our mixed trail mix, which is $5. This should last us about a week or so or more. And then we have our carrot juice, which this will be gone in a week too. So we're planning to drink more liquids, a week of shakes. Um, I have a black or wild berry one, so I do mix carrot juice with it too, or whenever I get thirsty. And in between my meals, I'm going to be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and oatmeal. And occasionally I will eat out and do a wrap or something like that. So, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, guys. So, we're in line now. And we're in the big pain. And we're going to see how much everything costs now. With all the special ones. Stay tuned. Wow. So, that's our total. Hello, this is Bliss here. And for this week's vegan food, I decided to go on Sunday to the Yellow Green Farmer's Market located in Hollywood, Florida, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. And even though it was a gray, rainy day, they certainly had a big variety of food and I was able to get pretty much everything that I needed. So let me show you. And this is what it looked like in the refrigerator after my weekly visit to the farmer's market. And perhaps we should also remember that here in the state of Florida, unprocessed foods like these don't pay any sales tax. Therefore, the prices I paid at the market didn't have any tax added on top of it. And so I was able to get all that for a total of $50.54 of tax-free, mostly organic food which cover more than seven days of food and a whole bunch of ingredients to use in the following weeks as well. So this is my vegan budget for this week. I hope you liked it. I hope it helps put some numbers in perspective for your vegan budget. And this is my report for this week. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Sprouting Consciousness. Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to show us some love and hit the like button. Subscribe. I hope you like the video. Bye. Thank you.